Hi, I'm Bill Loden, and today I'm going to look at another answer to the question, why should you develop for Windows 7? And I'm going to ask the question, can't you do this someplace else so I can have some peace and quiet? Today's reason is to take advantage of the new Windows Sensor and Location platform that lets applications adapt to their current environment. You mean like grow gills or see in the dark? Sensor and location devices detect information about your computer's environment. Applications can access this information and respond however they'd like. For example, location sensors determine the computer's physical location. They might use a built-in GPS device, signals from Wi-Fi or cell phone towers, or just by looking at the user's current IP address. This all sounds very big brothery. Now, knowing a user's location lets an application offer features like mapping, finding nearby businesses or points of interest, automatically adding location information to photos or blogs, showing location-specific ads, or finding nearby friends. You can probably think of lots of others. Seeing if your employees are really at home when they call in sick. In case you're worried that your users might object to being trackable because your application is location-aware, you should know that the user is always in control of this. A user has to specifically authorize an application to access sensor data. And that's true not only for location data, but for any sensor data. An application can request that the user enable access to a sensor, but that's all. Kind of like how I can request that you not give us any more examples, but... Light sensors report the current lighting conditions. That information can be used to increase contrast or brightness. If you expect that your application will be used under a variety of light levels, maybe on a device that will be used outside, this can make your application much more readable and user-friendly. Is there a boring sensor that detects viewers' interest level? Accelerometers can detect if the computer is moving or still, and how it's oriented, vertically or horizontally or tilted, for example. You might use this sensor in games or to automatically adjust a display to different orientations. Do they have a sensor that can sense when you're about to spill soda on your keyboard? And there are quite a few other sensors, like RFID sensors that can capture radio frequency identification waves that are given off by chips placed in merchandise or implanted in pets. Or how about temperature or moisture sensors or motion detectors? What are we supposed to do with all of these things? What you can do with these sensors is up to you, whatever your imagination can think of. The API that you use to work with the sensors is standardized so that it works in the same way no matter what kind of sensor you're using. And Microsoft has provided sample code for location-aware and sensor-enabled applications in the Windows 7 SDK, which is a free download that you can get at MSDN. Wow, free code. Can the API read my sarcasm sensor? Maybe you'd understand better if you saw it in action. Weatherbug, a Maryland-based ISV and Microsoft partner, has leveraged the Windows 7 sensor and location platform in the latest version of their desktop weather app. By selecting a menu and choosing Locate Me, the application will query the GPS device in the computer and update the interface with the local weather, and the user never has to enter their location. This is a great feature for mobile users who are traveling frequently. Weatherbug has also taken advantage of the new Windows 7 taskbar. For instance, right-clicking on the taskbar icon allows the user to select recent locations from the jump list, and the icon itself changes based on the current temperature. So if your application could be more useful if it knew where the user was located, or if your application would be easier for a user to read if you could adapt your display to the available light, or if you can think of any way at all that your app could use information from sensors, then you should be developing for Windows 7. Hey, this thing actually works. I mean, this thing actually works. <laughs> <laughs>